today we got another slab return this time from cgc and better yet one of these is going to one lucky subscriber all you gotta do is hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down in the comment section to enter let's get into it hey everybody welcome back to the channel we got cgc this time 26 slabs we're gonna get right into this great reveal to start off we got a modern japanese card here always looking good on the back i don't even have to worry about that biborel art rare from v star universe i'm gonna go with a 10 on this one nice to start us off, we got a gem mint 10. Let's keep it going. And keep your eyes on these slabs, people. You could win one or the rest will be up on my eBay store. You can snag it there as well. It's slightly off center, but a 10 on the back. The screen tail promo from the Paradox Rift ETB. I'm gonna guess a 10. Okay, I can, I can take that. I was thinking a nine, if anything. Nice. Let's go for nines and tens today that crazy looking brute bonnet from paradox rift the illustration rare i don't even know where the pokemon is i'm guessing that's it but yeah i always thought this was a strange artwork but it's one of those beautiful oddities this has got to be a 10. okay 9.5 mint plus we'll take that for sure a little bit of edgeware minor very minor though Scarlet and Violet 151, Zapdos EX. I'm gonna go a nine. Oh, I'll definitely take a gem mint 10. The Iron Bundle promo from the Paradox Rift ETB. I'm gonna go with a nine, eight and a half, really? We'll take it, I wasn't too far off. The Minior Illustration Rare from Paradox Rift. I like the artwork on it, it it's kind of fun. This is a 10. Yeah, there we go. Gem Mint 10, we got another one. Nice artwork, I like that one. So far we got three Gem Mint 10s. This looks good to me. Honestly, nothing. Swablu, illustration rare from Paradox Rift. Love that artwork. I'm gonna go 9.5 on this. Okay, nice. Another Gem Mint 10, four Gem Mint 10 so far. Let's keep it going. Let's rack up those 10s. Looks great on the back. Snorunt, illustration rare from Paradox Rift. I love this card. This has got to be a 10. Come on. There we go. Five gem and tens. We're going to do it again. We did it with PSA. We're about to do it again with CGC. I don't think it's too bad. Okay, the Mian Shao Paradox Rift illustration rare. I'm going to go with a nine on this. <laughs> really? Very good. Six out of nine. Gem mint tens are flowing these days. This looks pristine on the back. Toxtricity EX full art from Paradox Rift. This is going to be probably a 9.5. Okay, I was right. 9.5. We will take it. Garganacle Illustration Rare Paradox Rift. 9.5 at the very least, but probably gem mint 10. There we go. Yep. Another gem in 10 for the pile. Man, we are doing so good lately with submissions. Loving this. Off center on the back for sure, but edges are fine. Sandy Shocks EX Full Art from Paradox. 10. Whoa. I think it should have at least gotten a 9. But hey, you win some, you lose some. It's just the Sandy Shocks. We're all right. The Altaria EX Full Art, also from Paradox. I do like Altaria. Usually has some pretty nice artworks. Gem Mint 10, there's nothing wrong here. Oh, okay. We'll take the Mint 9. We got a modern Japanese. Nothing wrong here as always. The Sylveon VMAX from EV Heroes. I still think it's worth a 9. I mean, come on. Oh yes, we got the Gem Mint 10. Nice, another Gem Mint. Eight Gem Mint 10. Toad School Illustration Rare, Scarlet and Violet Base Set. Probably gonna go with an 8.5 or 9. Oh, okay. 9.5, Mint Plus. We'll take that for sure. There is some whitening in that corner, but very minor. Lucario V Star, Black Star Promo. Go with a 9.5 at least, 9 at the very least. Yes! Gem Mint 10. We got 9. 9 Gem Mints. Let's keep it going, people. Centering is off, but that's all right. Genesect V, full art for Fusion Strike. Is it 9.5 at the least, or 10? 
9.5. All right, I called it. Sweet. This is going so well. The submissions I've gotten back recently have done superb. Looks great. The Ponyta Reverse Hollow Common from Silver Tempest. And you ask, why the heck did I send this in to get graded? Well, the last time I looked at a Gem Mint 10 price, I can't remember exactly, but I know it was at least $20 for a little reverse holo common card. So I figured, what the heck? Why not be adventurous with your grading people? 10. Yeah, ah, there we go. We got the Gem Mint 10 on it. I just wanted to have fun with it. I like to grade unconventional cards. Why not? Have fun with it. And we got another 10 out of it. So that's 10 10. Loving this. You gotta have fun with your grading people. Enjoy it. So we got the Genesect V, the regular one from Fusion Strike. Probably a 9. Oh. I was right on the money. Nice. Mint 9. Modern Japanese card. Don't even have to bother with the back. It's always good. Latios Hollow from V Star Universe. We got a Gem Mint 10. Come on now. There we go. Gem Mint 10. We are swimming with Gem Mint 10s again. Nice. And another Modern Japanese. Looks good. The Lucario Hollow from V Star Universe. 10. There we go again, another Gem Mint 10. Wow, okay, another modern Japanese, nothing wrong here. Fighting Energy Secret Rare from V Star Universe. I love these hollow patterns. There's our Fighting Energy there and our Pokeball down at the bottom. I love the hollow patterns on the V Star Universe energies. 10, nothing wrong here. Boom, Gem Mint 10, pack fresh. Japanese cards almost always get a 10. Nice, man. I even lost count of how many 10s we had. The Alolan Raichu Hollow from Crimson Invasion. This and a Gem Mint 10, I think, fetched around 20 bucks. Of course, the Pokemon card market fluctuates wildly, so it could have changed the next day. 9.5 at the least, but a 10, come on. Okay, 9.5, we'll take that for sure. Three left, and another modern Japanese, we won't even bother with the back. Giratina V, V-Star Universe, again, great looking, Gem in 10, boom. My pack fresh Japanese cards always get a 10. I rarely get less than a 10 with pack fresh Japanese cards. Two more. Nihiligo GX full art from Crimson Invasion. It's probably an eight or an eight and a half. What now? I would have said a nine at the very least, but we'll take the mint plus. And our last card of the reveal, Gyarados EX from Scarlet and Violet Base. Looks great to me, it's gotta be a 10. Yeah, there we go. Gem Mint 10, great OG Pokemon. This is our stack of Gem Mint 10s. This is the rest of the cards. Look at that, people. We did it again. More than 50% 10s. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one.